Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this Batman cow from the Dark Knight completely from EVA foam. So first I use Frank here as my model for making my templates and I want to start off with the nose because this is what I usually do when making templates for helmets but then I decided to move on to the, the brow of the of the cow because that was more important and with this instead of just doing paper on top of the, the head I actually used uh, cardboard this time this to give it a much more rigid structure which is what the cowl is like so yeah as you see I'm doing the side bit which is very kind of um, very angular it gives this kind of like strong kind of temple area which I'm trying to build up here I'm trying to build up that kind of kind of angry eyebrows he has um, which I really love from the design so that's what I'm trying to do here and then I'm trying to do the chin strap uh, making sure to kind of make the whole chin area just how it is in the, the film and then here I didn't actually film for a while so a lot of, a lot has happened I've now made the the ear which as you see is very big at the moment which I will then cut down later and I've also built up the temple area on the side and um, because I really like that detail of the of the temple this kind of um, extra detail because it's not really that much of a detailed mask but it's just designed so well that it feels so tactical and so like military in a way uh, it feels very real and um, yeah so here I'm here I'm trying to work on the nose again and the nose was a difficult part of this whole project actually and then I'm just trying to work on the top of the head and as you see uh, Frank has a line uh, a center line across him which was really useful for making these templates because I only have to make half of the templates when I'm like kind of structuring them out and then I can just copy that over when it's a symmetrical design and here I'm just working more on the mouth <laughs> using a an action figure for reference it's good to have kind of like a 3d reference as well as just a picture and now I'm just building on top of the the cardboard with some paper to make the templates so then I can like take them off and make them into the different shapes and this also helps to just give a good visualization of the of the whole mask when it will probably be together and how um, how well the the pieces will fit and yeah so with the temple I had to kind of press the paper in here to make sure I capture that detail of the kind of like bone structure that this mask has and then I'm just using a blue pen to kind of mark it on and then cutting down the ears some more because that was way too big and then here I'm working on the eye uh, these are always quite difficult with templates working on the eye area what I like to do is get the angles first and then as you see here I'm drawing on the where I'll cut out the eye <laughs> and uh, those are often the most fiddliest of, of templates to make and then here I'm just getting some more paper on trying to form the back of the mask and then trying to take it off was quite hard as well as you see here I kind of just snip the pieces off where I've drawn the other, drawn the lines so then hopefully I can make flat pieces when there's not flat pieces I'll just have to cut out some more to make it into a net basically and then here I'm just you know drawing around each of the designs translating the the half onto a full one so it's like you know although I only did the one half before now I've drawn them onto the paper so now it's just one whole piece and uh, these are just useful to get a, a more neater copy of the templates making sure to mark on where they meet and stuff and then here I'm drawing them all onto using a ballpoint pen onto EVA foam and then cutting them out here and then um, starting off with the ears scoring the the lines to kind of get those folds the ears were very hard because when you're working with thin EVA foam and doing hot glue the the EVA foam gets quite um, soft and it can form in weird ways it's kind of hard to explain um, but yeah these were quite hard and I really wanted to get that kind of shape that the ears have the kind of straight right angle in the middle and then curves on the outside cutting off the ear because it didn't really go that well so I scrapped that one and you know it was good that I did it here because it did look pretty pretty rough and then just trying to salvage what I can then I you know this new yellow piece I glued on and by this point I had glued on the other ear as well and then it was onto the the back of the head I wanted to get the pieces ready for the back of the head I didn't f straight away attach it to the sides um, I kind of got the kind of middle piece all done this is the green area which is the back and uh, with this I make sure to hot glue on the inside 
of the seams to try and get the seams as close together and as neat as possible. And uh, in the future I might decide to use some filler for making these seams even less noticeable, but I think they went pretty well in this project. And then here I'm just gluing on the temple pieces to the sides, and uh, these have to be kind of glued at the right angle, not a right angle, but at the correct angle, so it kind of can give that you know, flat temple then going out with this kind of bone structure. And then gluing on the top of the head, this area was quite important, it has the kind of um, the eyebrow pieces and then I just I just did the middle bit for one side first and then I could do that for the other side afterwards making sure again to just keep my seams nice and neat make sure to you know not rush it, you don't want to just put on tons of hot glue um, it does take time gluing thin EVA foam and uh, as you see I've left kind of the whole front part of the face last so I could kind of have this structure ready so then I can glue on the fiddly bits and then here I'm just doing the kind of chin strap bit um, making sure to get that nice and neat and then positioning the eyes and the nose, I wasn't sure whether I should do the eyes or the nose first but I did the eyes so then I had a better structure for the nose to glue onto and as I was gluing this I wasn't fully sure in the eyes and you'll see later how I made some changes but I just kind of went with it, I was like I'm just going to trust my templates <laughs> as you see it's looking quite colourful at this point um, I did make some changes here to just bring the temples in more, make him seem less kind of you know chubby looking, I guess. And I haven't really glued on the nose properly. I've just kind of glued it at the edges so I can just get it in the right spot and try and understand you know how I should position it because the nose was really hard to get right. And doing some more editing to the temples at this point, you know, not doing anything too drastic. Still wasn't wasn't really sure because basically the eyebrows seem very raised and it was hard to visualise what it would look like at the end because it's not black uh, yet, I haven't painted it black yet but you know you can kind of see from here that the eyebrow area is so big and it just looks like you know Batman's all surprised which is not what I wanted, it kind of just looked a bit silly and then here I'm just going for it, I'm just taking off a lot of the eyebrow area and um, basically making it that the top bit of the head is closer down to give him more of that meaner look and I'm happy I did this but it did mean that I needed to make a whole new template for the top of the head so I cut that out, it was slightly longer so it could reach the bottom of the the eyes, the new eyebrows yeah I just used my hot glue gun to heat off the hot glue, just melt it so then I could take it off and then I carefully glued the new piece on this whole process was a bit irritating but it was um, it was a good job to do it because I think it definitely made the whole mask a lot better in the end. And yeah, so then it was onto the nose. And for this I just put it on Frank's head, got the nose. I actually did a new template for this to make it less angle down. And you know, finally just glued it on. And this was the end of that. And then I did paint it uh, with gloss black spray paint.